Hi, it's Chester Tubworth from Blue PK Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the VBA for creating a pivot table. So I have my source data, which is in a table, which I've named transactions. Now, I've already started the sub procedure for you. I've declared some variables, one for the worksheet, which I've set as the active sheet, one for the workbook, which I've set as this workbook. I've also set a variable for the pivot cache, because what you have to do when you're writing this code is first of all define your pivot cache and then write the code to create your pivot table. So I've declared a variable for the pivot cache and a variable for the pivot table. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the pivot cache var variable. So do that with a method of the workbook object called pivot caches dot create. Now this has various parameters, first of which is source type. Source type. And for this, if it's just like an Excel table or range, you use Excel databases. Excel database. The next parameter is source data. And this is what well, could be like a name range in your uh, your worksheet or in our example, it's the name of the table. So I can access that using the range object range, the name of the table, which I call transactions. No need to refer to the whole data set. Now I'm just going to come down a line for the last parameter so you can see what I'm doing. The last parameter is version. Now there are various versions of pivot tables depending on the version of Excel you have. Um, I'm going to use Excel pivot version, pivot table version 15, which is the latest version that you can use. And then I'll close the brackets. So now I've set the pivot cache, I'm going to set the pivot table variable. So that will be a method of the worksheet object. And I'm going to add a pivot table. So the first parameter, for some reason you don't get a screen tip for these parameters. So you just got to know them. Pivot cache would be the pivot cache that I've set up in the lines above, so PC. Then table destination will be where you want to position the pivot table. So I'm going to do that on the same sheet as my data. Let's say it's in R1. So I can say range R1. And then lastly, I can give the pivot table a name. So table name and that will be in this instance let's call it sales analysis put the bracket press enter now at this point i better check for any mistakes typos in my data so i'm going to go and press play that is a misspelled parameter name there again That is an incorrect name for that table. Press play again and it seems to have worked. And yes, that's created a pivot table in that area. And I'm just going to get rid of that pivot table. So my pivot table at the moment just creates an empty pivot table. I'm going to need to now write some code that actually designs it, that puts fields in the different areas within the pivot table, the column, the row, the data area and the filter area. 
Now, because there's a lot of different things I'm going to have to do to my pivot table, I'm going to use a with end statement. So I'm going to say with PT and then end with. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is specify branch as being the field I want to put in the row area of the pivot table. So there is a method of the pivot table object called pivot fields and specify which field I actually want to place in the row area. So I'm saying branch there dot orientation equals control space Excel row field. Now, I fast forwarded a little bit for you um, the following three lines of code place product category in the column field area, the region field in the page field area, it's the filter at the top of your pivot table, and revenue in the data field, which is where you do your calculations. Now, the last thing I need to do is just format the results within the data field as currency values. So I'm going to borrow a little bit of code from within Excel to do that. It's going to format sales, custom, this one to do here. Copy that, so it's on my clipboard. Add to the Visual Basic Editor. Now to apply that formatting, I can use a property of the pivot table called data body range dot number format and then in quotation marks I can paste in my currency format. Now that should be it. So if I press play and I have a look, it's done exactly what I've asked it to do. So the trick here, as a reminder, is that you have to create your pivot cache, define your pivot cache, before you can create your pivot table. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully that's been useful. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.